Here's a fun little exercise I like to do that I haven't done in a while. The uh, candle palm. Candle palm drill. It's kind of neat. But the thing I like about this the most is the comments I get afterward. Because it does something to the ego <laughs> watching something like this. So it's a very simple exercise. You take a little candle like that and then you light it, right? And then you just try to palm strike it out. And this has become popular over the past year because with the birthdays we've had, you don't want to, you know, blow your particles all over the cake and uh, spread your aroma everywhere. <laughs> so you palm out the candles. It's been good practice for this, for this, right? But anyway, you light it and then you just palm, you throw a palm strike at it and you try to blow it out, right? It's okay. Pretty simple. Yeah. Like anyone can do that. It's up close. No problem. And he's throwing a palm, you know, it's not a, not a punch. It's just palm. So he's just wafting in the air blowing out the candle. So that's, yeah, no problem. And then you, you do it again and you go just a little further back, right? Can you guys see that on there? Yeah, you can see the light. So you do it from further back. And then, it, you know, and it's a little bit harder, but you can do it if you're accurate. And, and then you go a little further back and then people watch and they go like, oh, well, it's just a sleep. He's doing it, you know, he's doing it with the sleep. It's a trick, right? And then when you go further back, it starts to mess with people. They're like, well, well, there's got to be some other trick. No, and then if you see, I can't really do it from this far back. Oh, there we go. I got it. The further and further back you go, push it away a little bit, the more skill it requires from a distance. And the more accurate you have to be. And then people see it and they're like, well, wait a minute, that shouldn't be possible <laughs> that far away. And now what I have to do is I have to visualize. I have to visualize the end result. I have to use mental rehearsal. I have to relax and calm down and breathe and put myself in this zone so I can focus, so I can blow this thing out from, what is that? For me, that's about, I think, three feet away, right? There we go, okay? And it's shocking because once you see it, something that you would think would be impossible, um, I'll tell you the secret to it right now. It's not the sleeve. It's not that I'm <sighs> exhaling at the same time. Um, all it is, is it's the fact that I'm, I'm relaxed. I use mental rehearsal. And when you use mental rehearsal on something, it, it subconsciously syncs your body up for that activity. Right, so people that golf, for example, this is like golfing for kung fu people. Um, it's the same thing. You need to relax your body. You use mental rehearsal so it aligns every piece of your body into that action and into the end result. Right, and then when you do that, <clears throat> then you can achieve what seems impossible. Now, what happens to the ego in watching this is, well, that seems impossible, but he does it through, he relaxed through a lot of practice, practice, through relaxation, and through mental rehearsal. So you put those three things together, and you can make something that would seem impossible, possible, through not magic, but through work, through mental rehearsal, and through having the right... Um, you know, through being in the moment properly and being focused on something. So it does something to the ego where it's like, well, this guy's some kind of shyster because I don't want to believe that that amount of, you know, focus, practice, and mental rehearsal can do something that would seem impossible at the time um, because that would make me uncomfortable and it would make me think, well, if that's possible, how else can I apply that to my life? If that makes other things that seem impossible possible, that means that I might be capable of a lot more that I'm giving myself credit for right now. So then you've got a choice to make. You either like, you know, your ego gets triggered by it, so you leave like a stupid comment being like, oh, whatever, fake. Or you start to reflect and think, hmm, what else can I do if I apply that line of thinking to other areas of my life? What other things seem impossible that could be possible if I put in the practice? If I, if I practice so much that I can relax about it and then, you know, let that motion kind of flow off of the mental rehearsal, meaning I saw it first in my mind clearly, and then I drew that, um, that activity or that event toward me, right? And it helped me 
focus my body into that action on a self-conscious level. If I could do that here, and if I could you know, see this happen right in front of me, how else can I apply that to my life? Maybe I have a lot more potential that I'm not giving myself credit for, right? So you've got that choice to make. Do you, do you, know, do you leave the stupid comment to be like, you're an idiot, <laughs> this is fake, right? Because that would make you feel uncomfortable. Or do you think, wow, um, maybe there's things that I could apply this to my, you know, to my life. Maybe, you know, I want to um, take on a project or something. Maybe I want to do something that seems impossible at the time. Maybe uh, I could now be encouraged to do that because I, I think you can do it. I, you know, but my opinion of you is that you're a luminous being of infinite potential. That's what I think of you. What you think of yourself, well, it'll it'll be obvious to you depending on on that decision what you're making. Um, you know, is it like shrug it off, ignorant comment, this is stupid, because you're making my ego feel a little bit uh, like there's more potential that I'm giving you credit for? Or do you start to expand your mind a little bit and think what else is possible, right? What's possible that I think right now is impossible, but with, you know, focus, determination, and with proper mindset and proper mental rehearsal, what could I make possible for myself? So that's kind of the decision you gotta make. So I will leave you to it um, I'll leave you to make that decision. If you need any help with it, just um, put a comment below. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs>